All right, here we are at the bunker house. We're working on the shop today. So we got about a, almost a thousand square foot of a shop. I've been cleaning my like crazy. It's a little dark in here right now because I don't have power because I'm fixing to fix this spaghetti mess that somebody did uh, all wrong. So. We're going to do that, um, and we're going to tear down all of this, all of that, and reframe up and insulate um, and get everything set right. Uh, got a nice amount of foam up there that they did, but that's not enough, and especially since those kind of the, I don't know, side lights, skylights, whatever you want to call them, those are letting a lot of cold air in. Um, we're going to spray foam that section up there. A um, lot of framing to do, a lot of wood to tear out, a lot of things to tear out in this room here um, that somebody did really poorly. I've got a lot of demos still to do, but today's project is swap out this panel, and then I can finally hook up my heater and get a little bit of warmth in here. And uh, so let's get started. First, got to pull the foam back. Okay, here we are at the messy shop. Uh, they're flickering, don't mind that. That's those lights. I gotta get some new bulbs up there. Uh, we got uh, the panel in yesterday. Uh, got just some temporary taps on there for some lights and an outlet just so I can work. And then uh, you see there they ran the network and phone in the same conduit, which is a kind of a no-no, but no big deal. It'll still work anyway. Uh, pulled back all the foam that they had. They had two-inch foam, um, and that's uh, kind of causing me some problems as far as the way I'm going to frame this. But uh, framing is going to be interesting. Anyway, so I pulled back a whole bunch of the foam to get to the wiring. Uh, the cars are really blasting around up here today. Uh, anyway, got a big, heavy mess going here. So I kind of got bored of doing the wiring. So I thought I'd come in the what's going to be my office eventually and pull down all of this plywood chipboard scraps of whatever they had screwed nailed glued you just whatever you got laying around throw it on the walls and as you can see they did a piss poor job of framing um they're not even 24 on center they're 24 22 20 whatever just throw just throw a, a two by four in there and as you can see, the bottom is all eaten out by rodents. Uh, rodents have gone all the way up into the insulation. Got little holes everywhere. And so that's because they didn't seal the exterior properly. So I get to rip all that insulation down and redo all of that. Um, and this wall, for some reason, this was framed at one point and they cut it back. So I would have guessed they had probably some big equipment or something they were dragging out. I don't know. But they took this wall down. Um, so, got a lot of work ahead of me. A lot of uh, cleanup to do. Lots of stairs to make, remake. And lots more foam board to pull down so that I can seal this place up so we don't have field mice eating away at everything. So, anyway, I uh, hope didn't make you too dizzy there. Uh, just working away, working away. Okay, we're back in the bunker house. Or the... <laughs> shop of the bunker house and we've made a lot of progress uh we have insulated those skylight things to stop all the warm air running out you can actually get it to about 50 degrees in here and it's about 30 out right now i've got my framing up on this wall um i've got my framing on that wall so i'm going to also insulate in there so it'll be super insulated uh and there's the skylights back there, but that's all going to get enclosed up here uh, at some point, and then that will be a cold room. Uh, so the office is coming along. Um, we've got our foam board on. Started my rock saw insulation, just kind of did those at the top there. Uh, so this room will be super insulated. Um, I found out I do have to fix this floor before I can put a floor down. Um, anyway, uh, I got a window coming. I'm going to be cutting in a window here. Uh, that's going to be fun. And I'm now moving this crappy door that they had over here. Uh, still had to build my wall along there. 
once I get my drywall up uh, in part of the room then I'll drag the other pieces that go on that this wall here and I'll drywall that off but I got electrical I've got a lot to do so um, <clears throat> anyway this is dimwitty nice solid header they put above this 36 inch door I'm switching it to a 32 inch door I'm actually gonna move it over uh, that far to try and get it off to the side of the room so we're not wasting the whole wall and they put a solid header in real smart but you know what solid headers useless if you don't put the cripples in to touch the top hey smart smart so anyway I'm gonna move that over I can use that reuse that stuff there I'll just cut it back in uh, to the dimensions I need so I gotta put some cripples in to support this ceiling temporarily until I get that and then I also get to cut out the leg bolt that they put in there fun fun Alrighty, till next time. Okay, day 8,000 of my never-ending project here. I uh, got my door moved over, framed in properly. I just put a squash block up there and just to hold that. Um, I don't know I, whether that's the actual name, but tore off a bunch of that. So it moves the door over. Now it's you know doesn't take up the middle of the room. And started in on my window install here, so... Um, in order to prevent tearing off the siding, I made a box, which serves two purposes. It gives me a frame that's already, it's already framed out for, uh, when I put the drywall up and I can just paint it and caulk it. I don't have to do a drywall wrap, uh, which could be a real pain in the butt in a little box like that. Anyway, so I had to cut my framing here and I'll do some, uh, screws at an angle into those boards. And then, of course, I'll frame up, uh, kind of like I did on these walls, I'll frame up around this box once I'm done. But the goal here is to, um, hold on, let me pause this and I'll take this down. Okay, there we go. So the goal here is to mount the window in like that. Of course, I'll silicone the back side and then the front side. And then I will cut out my metal, which I just traced, and I'll cut out just a slight bit bigger than what I traced. And then I'll put my J-molding in or J trim, whatever you want to call it, and I'll slide the window right in through that. It'll press up against this, and that will give me a nice tight seal. And I can go to the outside and screw this all down from the outside, but that's why, that's why I bothered to frame this all up this way, just to give me something to screw into. Um, probably overkill, but you know, you know me, I always want to do things more than what's necessary. Uh, anyway, I'm thinking about doing a second window over here. Um, you know, when it just takes more time, more money. But uh, So that's one way to get it done without uh, tearing the siding off and making crazy cuts and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, And it serves two purposes by giving me a box to uh, work with once I'm done. So I also made that box about a, just a note, I made it about a half an inch bigger than what my framing sticks out to accommodate for my drywall. So my drywall will go right up. So you got to add that into the mix there when you do it so uh anyway you could probably do this when if if the wall was all drywalled nor framed up already you could just cut it open and it's one way to put a window in without uh tearing down the building and there we have it the window is installed and let me tell you that was a royal pain in the butt <laughs> the cut in the metal was not easy it just you know wants to jump around on you and i tried different various tools but i got through i got my trim in it was a, i probably put it in and out about six times because i made the box too tight or the frame too tight for the box and you know that's just me always trying to be a cabinet maker rather than a carpenter so anyway uh it's in beautiful nice works i just don't know if i want to take the time and money to do another one over here all right continuing on here with the never-ending office build uh, I got my board across, my doorways pretty framed up, and I've got all my drywall up, tape and mud, which takes forever. Just a man, every time I do this, man, amazing how long it takes. Anyway, uh, got uh, some caulking all around the edges here so that I can start mixing up my floor leveler because I need to level this spot here, which has fallen all the way up to there, which is just almost like an inch here. Uh, and then it's pretty level over here, and then we got one other spot over here that's kind of 
cracked away, it's fallen, so and that's not too bad. You can see the gap under there is not that bad. It just comes up to right about there, so yeah. That's the next part, and then I can finally start doing some finishes. Some trim, some paint, a desk, and you know, all that good stuff, so. Just continuing on with the progress here, but uh, got it super insulated. Uh, that little space heater there will bring that room up, even if it's 20 to 10 degrees out, it'll bring this room up to 70, no problem. Uh, you know, with the, uh, I put the foam board, inch and a half foam board, and then uh, uh, six inches of uh, rock saw behind that. So uh, pretty super insulated, uh, makes it really quiet too. I don't hear the road noise or anything. Uh, so anyway, on next, I uh, will be finishing. Yay. Well, it's been a while since I've done any video from the shop here. Been just uh, having a lot going on. Uh, this is a table top, actually my, going to be my desktop that I just epoxied. I picked up this, uh, what they call blue pine, and it's looking pretty good so far. This is my third and final coat right here. I had to fill in this crack here. It was pretty, pretty deep. Uh, it took a lot of epoxy to go in there, but three coats, uh, this should do it. Uh, let this dry for two days, and then I'll be ready to install the desk in my... Yes, I finished my office, which I'll show you once I'm all done. Uh, it just uh, finishing up a lot of stuff here. I still, I have messes, as you can see, messes galore here. Um, it's just going to be cleaning for days now. Uh, finally got the office done, so now I can clean, put everything in there and get that all set up uh, and then uh, I got my uh, tool room yesterday I got that finished or at least this wall right here just this is some this black stuff was here when I got here so I just repurposed it from the other walls I still have to do my electrical on this wall and then set my compressor in place I've got my press and then my toolbox, a couple of other toolboxes here and some woodworking tools in this small room. And of course my stairs going up. And so I will eventually build a ceiling like I have over there, uh, over on this side. I will eventually build a ceiling on this. But right now lumber is extremely expensive and uh, that's kind of low priority on the never ending list of amount of uh, house repairs and other things I have to do. But I'm excited to be this far, uh, you know, finally after taking way too long to complete all this, but uh, making progress. Uh, so next is clean all this up, finish this wall off, uh, get my electrical in, uh, get my drywall on it. I need drywall on top of this uh, plywood. That's a fire hazard if you don't. And then uh, we'll put some electrical in there and I've got this diamond plating to go on the walls, but I have to do a lot of measuring and matching. So, quite a few steps to go. This is an old desk that I had, and I wasn't able to reuse. I was going to try and repurpose that, but uh, I think all in all I'm more happy with this uh, setup. But I will, in the next little video here, I'll show you the finished, completed office. Well, today's a big day. Finished up the office. Uh, still got a bunch of stuff to do in the shop here. But now I can really focus on the shop and get that finished up. Uh, so it turned out great. Um, still have a few odds and ends to take care of, but there's my live edge desk that I made. Uh, took me three or four coats of, uh, poly or of uh, epoxy on it, and then of course I made this skirt to hide, just to hide all my computers and crap under there. Got a chair here. I used to have a massage chair in my other office and no more. Uh, I have a security monitor camera. That's a big TV that I had left over. Uh, it is a monster that's like 20 years old, but it still works great. So I use it for that. And then I have a big antenna up there that the previous owner had. And I'm just hooked into that and I can get like 40 some odd channels. Uh, put the flooring down. I should have made videos on how to put the flooring down, how to do trim. I should, I mean, I just didn't have time to do all that. Um, got uh, my couch in there. Uh, there's my window. Got my pictures up. Got these little heaters right now. Uh, event uh, next project is to install a uh, split unit right here, um, and then I'll just punch through the wall there. And that's going to be a bit of a challenge because the walls are so thick. Um, I have two inches of foam, uh, then uh, an airspace, and then six inches of rock rock wool insulation. So this is really it's. And I did that for soundproofing in here. 
Um, it's really pretty quiet. Uh, you can hear now the doors open, but as soon as I close the door, it'll you won't hear those cars at all. But yeah, I got uh, this all set up, dialed in. Uh, just a little bit more to, to go, but uh, that'll be another video. All right.